What's up, babe? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya. If this is your very first time here, we are doing a wig slay today. Our wig today is from OMG Her Hair. Shout out to them because they did sponsor your girl today. And while we slay this wig, y'all, we just gonna do a little girl talk, talk about dating and online dating in 2020 and how hard it's been. Drop a few stories on y'all and just kick back and have a little girl chat. <laughs> Before we hop into it, please make sure that you hit subscribe below if you have not yet so that you are updated when new videos come out. Also, make sure that you hit that notification bell as well so that you are updated with new videos go uh, all right babes let's do it oh so, let's go ahead and slay this wig all of the information for this wig will be in the description box let me back us up a little bit so you can really see what's going on it is a 360 wig i did already cut the lace along the bottom but you see there's lace all around the top lots of parting space like whitney i was going to like do the stocking method where you know i use the guys to be in glue it and cut it and stuff like that Wait, we ain't gonna do that. Wait, we, we gonna skip that today. I'ma try it in the future. Maybe when I don't actually have a video to film so I can just, you know, experiment. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the rest of my lace. Since this is lighter than my, my skin, I'm just going around the edges to see if we can get any type of help <laughs> with the color underneath. So I'm just going in with my bronzer. We're gonna try the best we can. Oh, this gonna be nice and big and cute, girl. I'm excited. I think we can finesse. We can fin we can finesse that. I don't see no line of demarcation. I think we gonna be good. So y'all, for makeup today, I didn't want to put on too much makeup around the perimeter of my head because I didn't want it to mess up with the gel and stuff. And then I just defeated the purpose and put all this bronzer around the edges. But you know, it's fine. It'll work. It'll work out. It's, it'll work out fine. <laughs> But yeah, tomorrow is Thanksgiving. Well, at least you guys will be seeing this the day before Thanksgiving. Tomorrow's not actually Thanksgiving while I'm filming this, but welcome to the YouTube world. <laughs> I told you guys on Monday's video that I was actually going to be going to an Airbnb with my family and that's not happening anymore. Everything got canceled because of COVID. And I'm spraying my got to be on here as well. Why is it spraying upwards? What the heck? So y'all, I joined this Facebook, like Christian Facebook group, which is for like Christian single women. I've really been loving it. I actually don't really comment a lot <laughs> because like, I feel like as an influencer now, I don't be wanna like be on my Facebook groups telling my business and stuff. I just like am an observer, but then I'm on here telling you guys my business. So it was like defeats purpose. <laughs> but that group has kind of been like encouraging me to like get back on online dating, but y'all, I got some horror stories with online date, girl. Horror. To the point where I don't even know if that's something that I want to do anymore. <laughs> and in a pandemic, of course, it feels like what else are you gonna do? Because how are people, how are you supposed to get to know people and date and do all this stuff when, you know, there's a pandemic going on? I don't know. I really just have really been thinking about to getting back into it. They've been talking about Bumble a lot. And I tried Bumble one time, but I, I don't know, y'all. Let me tell you. I mean, I guess anybody that you meet on the street could be jacked up, you know? But it's something about online dating that makes it seem a little more creepy, you know? <laughs> like, I feel like I've had like horror stories, like from, and there's nothing wrong with this. I don't get what I'm about to say wrong. I'm about to say from dudes that live with their mother, which is not a bad thing if that's where you are in life and if that's where the woman you're talking to is in life similarly. Like, I'm so far removed from that. <laughs> That's not someone that I want to spend my time with, especially since I know like where my life is going and the kind of person I want to be with in the next step for me, you know? So like, it's a lot of these men out here live with their mom. <laughs> and I'm talking about men in like their thirties, mid thirties. And like I said, I get it if that's where you are in life, but that's just not what I want to align myself with. And I don't feel like there's anything wrong with that. It was like a couple of dudes that I talked to and these are most guys that I'd never even got on a date with once they told me that I was like oh okay and then you know it just slowly died off <laughs> on my part one of them I did let them know cuz one thing y'all gotta know about me like I'll let these dudes know like I'll let you know if this ain't working out and this is not <laughs> Girl, please, I would let a dude know what's good. I be dropping them left and right. I told him, I was like, yeah, it, looks, it seems like we're just in two completely different places in our lives that I just, I don't feel like this is 
the way I want to go. Like this ain't it. <laughs> he was offended and he was saying like, I think I'm better than him and stuff like that. And that was obviously not the truth, especially with men. I feel like their ego gets like kind of wounded if you tell them stuff like that, especially if it's, you know, in denial of them, they don't take rejection too well. But girl, please, I had to, I had to drop it because I'm not in the point anymore where I want to waste any of my time. Like I'm not wasting no time with you, sir. I'm just, I'm just not. Yeah, I'm creating my little sideburn that I always do with my natural hair with the wig. It ain't curling up like mine do, but it's good enough. <laughs> Another guy that I met online, um, I had to drop because he was super insensitive and I know the type of person that I am. I know I can't get with no insensitive guy. Like he was really, really cool at first. Like we went out a couple times and everything. This was back in January though. I ain't been out with nobody since, <laughs> well, I did talk to somebody over summer, but I ain't really talked to nobody since the pandemic has been like legit how it's been. But I told him I didn't want to talk to him anymore because he was just so insensitive. He was judgmental. Um, just little stuff that he would say. I would just be like, yeah, this is not the type of man that I need to be with. We had only been talking for a month, so I dropped him cold. Yeah, I couldn't do that. I talked to another guy. And like I said, y'all, this is all dudes that I was just like talking to, like on the app mostly. If I if I actually went out with them, I'll let y'all know. <laughs> like the last guy. The other guy, it was apparent he had a little money and this was before I, you know, was really established in my career for real, for real this year. But I ended up getting on the phone with him and he was like, I don't know if it was stuck up, but he was really into the fact that he had some money. And he traveled a whole lot for work and stuff like that. And he kind of just gave me the idea of, okay, this is what it is. I'm gonna be traveling. You barely gonna see me, but I'll pay your rent. I'll do this, I'll do that, be faithful. And I mean, like gave me this from jump and I actually really appreciate that he did because it's like, please let me know what I'm getting myself into, you know? Let a sister know. Don't be just like surprising me once I'm, you know, in a relationship with you or committed to you and exclusive with you. And now it's like, okay, wait a minute, who is this guy? So if I'm being honest, I appreciate that kind of thing, but it's like, yeah, I appreciate it, but next. <laughs> Like I'm not about to sit here and like entertain this situation. That's not gonna happen. Yeah, I'm gonna pluck my middle part. It came with a middle part already in this wig, but I'm just gonna pluck it a little more because I want it to be very natural. But y'all, I didn't really mention the makeup today. This is just a stick foundation, the Milk Flex Foundation in Golden Deep. And then I also went in with some concealer on the eyes and the under eyes, a little light powder. And my foundation is not everywhere. I just kind of put it like in the middle of my face because I knew I was gonna be doing a wig. So I didn't want to be messing with the any product around the hairline. But yeah, a little powder, a little bronzer on the cheek, uh, liner and lashes. And that's what we got today. I didn't put on no highlight or nothing like that. And I really love how this is looking. I feel like our look on Monday, which I actually haven't even posted yet, but <laughs> I feel like our look on Monday was not it, girl. Matte wise, I really wish I would've did something like this and not messed with the eyeshadow because I feel like my eyeshadow was just unblended and just not cute. I was in a bad mood. <laughs> but anyway, I do like the matte look a whole, whole lot, especially how it turned out today without any eyeshadow. And it's not like full, full coverage. I like, I like this for every day. And then a big thing that I deal with with online dating, y'all, and I'm pretty sure it's just dating in general, but I don't have a lot of dating experience as I was in a relationship for almost four years, <laughs> is finding someone who aligns with you in, in Christ. Or, you know, if you're not a Christian, you know, your religion or your spirituality or how you are, I really truly believe in being equally yoked. And for me, that doesn't necessarily just mean you're a Christian, you believe in God. You know, I actually live my life trying to do the right thing or you know making certain decisions um, that have to do with my spirituality and not religion. I'm not a religious person. I'm not like a churchy type of girl. So I feel like you can never go to church again in your life as long as you got a relationship with God. I just feel like things go better if you're with somebody <laughs> who is on the same page as you or who kind of believes the same thing as you. It's a lot less issues I feel like that you would have. Like I met this one guy online who was really, really cool. Talk still here and there, but not like that. But we just had a completely different view of what it meant to be, not necessarily a Christian, but to be kind of like saved. As far as the difference between being a Christian and a believer and actually being saved and trying to live that way. <laughs> And I'm not talking about like going to church every Sunday. 
I mean, like in your regular everyday life. And there was a huge disconnect. Like he did not understand at all <laughs> what I was saying. And it, we just butted heads. From there, it trickled into other things. Like we both had children. He was raising his children differently than mine as far as what he would allow and things like that. And for me, that kind of ties into, you know, what I believe my spirituality, what's right and what's wrong. We was just bumping heads, girl. We was bumping heads. And as soon as I come across something like that, like I said, I wasted enough of my time. I'm not about to waste my time with you, sir. Yes, you're a great person. Yeah, you're nice, but I, I know what I want. I know who I am. And frankly, I'm just, I'm just not gonna go with it. You can try to convince me all you want. And I've had a couple of guys that I talked to online try to do this. You know, once I told them, yeah, no, this not gonna work. Yeah, no, nah, that ain't how I roll. <laughs> when they be like, no, we can work it out. I thought we had a connection. That's something that we can work out. I'm sorry, sir. I've been talking to you for a week to a month. I'm not trying to work nothing out with you. Ain't like we six months into this and one of us is in love or something, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm not about to work nothing out. I'm about to sign up for the struggle from the jump. <laughs> what you think this is? This should be the honeymoon phase. I shouldn't be red flags. Like it's one thing to have a red flag that you know, it's like, okay, nobody's perfect. But then there's other things that are just like real important you know what i'm saying and foundational that you just can't get over so girl please and i feel like maybe this is just dating in general maybe not specific to online dating <laughs> but i guess the thing with online dating is it's like you don't know what the heck you about to get all you see is a picture in something that they typed up or probably ran through a few women first to see if it was cool <laughs> before they came in contact with you and I don't know girl, but I am thinking about getting back into online dating, but I have not quite decided <laughs> yet. So I'm about to just spray these curls and kind of start to get it looking how I want it to. And this is just water and conditioner that I'm spraying into it. Y'all let me know in the comments if you feel like I should give it another chance. <laughs> I just don't know if I should or not, just from everything that I've been through. And if you have any crazy stories, girl, let us know. Let's just have a little girl talk today. So people off work, or might be off work, I tell you, girl, these dudes be tripping. They be tripping. But one thing I will say is that regardless if you're dating regular or online dating, which most of us are that are dating are online dating right now due to the situation in the world, I definitely feel like it's not worth settling <laughs> over. You know what I'm saying? Trying to find somebody with the loneliness that a lot of us have right now. It's not worth settling for less and for what you know that you should have. Like I said, my friends will be the first one to tell you how quickly I will push a dude to the side and be like, yeah, nah, brother, this ain't gonna work because I've been there where I've wasted so much of my time. And having high standards is imperative or just having your standards, period, whether or not you feel like they are high, sticking with said standards is extremely, is extremely important, especially if you don't want to have resentment later on or be upset with yourself for letting something go further than it needed to go. Cause I've definitely been told before that my standards were too high. I'm asking for too much. I'm like, okay, too much like respect, like listening. Oh, that's another story I forgot to tell y'all. I just talked to this dude recently like a couple weeks ago <laughs> everything seemed cool we actually got hooked up by a mutual friend and i was like okay this might this is okay this is this is cool yeah dude like we got on the phone everything was going cool at first and then the dude just kept talking about himself right and anytime that i would say anything about me or try to offer some in it some type of information about myself he would be like oh yeah okay but anyway like i was saying <laughs> And it's like, bro, do you really just want to talk about yourself? Like, you're the one who said you wanted to talk to me and you're not interested at all in anything that I have to say, my life or anything. And then we actually got on FaceTime and bro was like, legit, y'all, I kid you not. I, we were on FaceTime and we were having a conversation. It wasn't really a conversation. He was talking about himself, showing me his apartment. And I didn't even ask him to see this apartment. Then we got on FaceTime and this is our first time talking to each other. I've been talking for like two days. And he was telling me something, he was all in to it but as soon as you know the conversations flipped and I was like okay well let me tell you about me and I'm just you know talking and stuff like that suddenly bro wasn't listening I literally saw this man looking at something on TV and I'm just talking and then I stopped you know like a little pause in the conversation and I was like did you hear me he was like oh yeah 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 I heard you but them lips though 
And I was like, are you serious? Not only are you not listening to me, but I see you not listening to me. And then you're gonna try to change the subject to my lips? For real, bro? Like, this will be doing in 2020? And it was just, y'all, it was, ugh. That kind of stuff be making me not wanna date at all, sis. Like, at all. Please. The next morning, we said goodnight. The next morning, I texted him and I was like, yeah, uh, this ain't gonna work out for me. I don't think we're right for each other. He asked me why and everything. And I was like, well, you weren't listening to me. <laughs> and what's so crazy about it is that I feel like this is something that he already knew about himself. And early in the conversation, he did say something like, um, well, let me stop talking. I, I'm working on being an avid listener. <laughs> I can't make this up. It was, it was a mess. So I say all that to say y'all, don't lower your sandals sis. <laughs> Do not, there's gonna be someone out there that is willing to, not willing to, but agrees <laughs> with your standards and will easily go with them because that's how they were raised. Y'all, we pretty much done with the hair. I'm just still wiping off at the mouth, but I did cut a little bit more of my lace up here because I felt like it was just not true to my forehead size. And I feel like this is looking a lot more natural. But another reason why I've kind of been waiting and stopping is because I, you know, feel like we all deal with like insecure issues or body issues or things about ourselves that we want to feel better, you know, to love yourself before you love someone else or you can love someone else. I'm being intentional about that journey for myself and trying to just make sure that I am loving on me right. I'm trying to tackle some of my insecurities and just be better. Cause that was something that I definitely struggle with in past relationships to the point where, you know, I was uncomfortable like with myself or with my body or had a lot of insecurities. And that is not something that I want to experience in my next relationship, which I'm praying my next relationship will be my husband. You know, I'm, I've been trying to kind of tackle that, which has really kind of been why I've been waiting. But I feel like I'm starting to get to the point where I might be ready again. So, cause I haven't online dated since summertime. <laughs> so it's been a few months now. So, you know, girl, we gonna see. It's in the Lord's hands. I do pray about it. I feel like you can take anything to God and pray to him about it, no matter how small you think it is or how big you think it is. I know he's just always willing to listen. So let's go ahead and wrap this video up. All right, y'all, that wraps it up for today's video. We are Diana Ross in it today, and I am loving it. I love this hair. <laughs> I wanna play with it a little bit more to try some different, you know, hairstyles parts and stuff like that, but I like it. If I'm wearing it down the middle, more than likely, I would wear it behind my ears. And I'll scoot up a little bit so you guys can see the hairline and how it's looking. All right, y'all, so that wraps it up for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure that you give me a big thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought and give me any of your online dating tips or stories. <laughs> the girls would love to hear. Shout out again to OMG Her Hair for sponsoring us today. And hit subscribe if you have not yet. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.